a little wall. A little windy, overcast, foggy, kind of summery like. 56 when I left. Supposed to be pouring rain today with the number one storm, but of course it didn't happen. California is not getting its rain this year. But let's talk about something else. U.S. emissions in 2020, the biggest fall since World War II. Emissions down by 10%. Coal emissions down. Uh, jet fuel emissions down. Jet fuel demand down by 68%. Gasoline demand for cars down by 40%. At this time, jet fuel is down, the demand for it is down by 35%. The demand for electricity in the U.S. is down by 10%. While we're at it, let's do a quick CO2 level look for 2020 and 2021. January 12, 2020 saw 413.07 parts per million. January 12, 2021 saw 414.81 parts per million, so it's still going up. Methane by source. We can't really tell what methane's doing. It looks like it's about staying flat. It's the emissions aren't going up or down. But let's look at the uh, sources of emissions from methane so that if anybody wanted to change their methane footprint, they could easily do it. Okay, people coming. Got to hurry up here. <laughs> So what I wanted to talk about next was something on Environmental Coffee House. Sandy was talking about a manatee that was, was tortured uh, by Trump supporters by etching its name Trump on top, on the back of the manatee in huge letters. I can't imagine the pain that poor manatee is going through. And, and the Trump supporters thought nothing of it, nothing at all. I told you how much I hate people who deface nature, especially in this way for political reasons. All I can say is if there is a floating cloud being of some sort, which I do not believe in myself, but if there is, the person that scratched Trump on the back of that manatee deserves what they get. Deface any animal for pleasure. That includes shooting them, no matter what you shoot them with. It's still sickness if you have to do it for pleasure. Animals aren't there for humans to have pleasure with. They're there along with us just trying to survive. Why wouldn't we help them instead of hurt them? Let's go down this way. It's getting awfully crowded. It's supposed to be in the 70s starting tomorrow. Pretty warm right now. Right behind me is a native species that grows in the redwoods here it's in California. called rhododendron and to think we almost wiped them out completely because humans uh, dug them up and put them in their own yard and when you do that they don't like that and they die so we almost lost the, the species of rhododendron here in California fortunately we didn't So sometimes it seems like this planet is ready to blow its top. Not only are humans losing it, the planet is about to go into overdrive on heat. If we're this warm this winter in California, can you imagine what this summer is going to be like? Oh my. I appreciate all the ups and downs and new subscribers. And until next time.